Wallahi, I wish to end with a litmus test. I wish to end with something that will wake us up, not only today, but forever. Do you want to know if you are a good Muslim or not? I can give you the litmus test. How do you test yourself? My dear brothers and sisters, if you want to know if you are an asset to the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or if you are in the wrong direction, Wallahi, I will pose a question to you. A series of questions. The answers of those questions will answer the question, are you an honest and good Muslim or not? Think for a moment, visualize, picture yourself sitting in your house. You are seated as you would normally do on a Sunday afternoon or any day. What you normally do in your home, think of it. Whether you smoke your cigarettes or whether you listen to your music, or whether you have unacceptable videos and so on and magazines, your mobile phones, everything, your computers, the internet, what have you in your house, the alcohol, the drugs, whatever there is, think of a normal day. Have we pictured it? We are seated in our homes. The door is knocked. Someone knocks on the door. How do you answer the door? We know how we answer the door, don't we? We stand up and rush towards the door. Sometimes if we don't and the man rings the bell again or knocks the door again, we might even utter swear words to say who the hell is he or who are they? They can wait. They can go away. We don't we need them in our home. I remember visiting a home in India when I was there. The little girl came out and said, my daddy told me to tell you that he's not here. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. That is those, that's the affairs of the Muslims today. Subhanallah. My daddy just told me to tell you that he is not here. I said to the girl in return, tell your daddy that I said, Jazakallah khair. I know he's not at the door, but I want him to come to it. Subhanallah. So the question is the knock on the door. You react, you open the door and suddenly you get a shock of your life. Who do you see? Just picture it. Just imagine it. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at your doorstep. He knocked on your door. You opened it. You saw him. Your reaction will tell you what type of a Muslim you are, my dear brothers and sisters. If you bang the door back at his face and say, wait, let me dress properly. Let me go and hide the pornographic videos I have. Let me hide the drugs. Let me cancel the meetings I've had tonight. Let me, my cell phone has dirty messages on it. Let me quickly do this and that. Let me quickly hide these music cassettes I have. Let me do this, that, the alcohol in the fridge. Let me throw it away. If Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pitched up at your door, how would you react? Wallahi, that reaction will tell you whether you are a genuine Muslim or whether you need help. And if he were to tell you, my dear follower, I am with you to stay for one week. What would you say? Hey, not this week, next week. You know what? We've got a lecture at that masjid. Please, I'll see you there. Just go to the masjid. I'll pick you up from there. Don't worry. No, no, no. It's all right. Please, excuse me. Just, you know, understand. So what? That is the reaction. How you react to that man when he visits you, that is how you will understand what type of a Muslim you are. Think of the toilets you have. What do you have in your toilet? What type of a loo do you have? What do you do in your toilet? Unfortunately, some toilets I go to, I see the rules of golf on the shanks. Subhanallah. These are the golfers. What do they do when they sit in the loo? They pick up the magazine, open it, the rules of golf. Subhanallah. Others keep different magazines in the toilets. I've seen it. Would we have them? Amazing. Think very carefully. My dear sisters, my dear mothers, how would you be dressed? When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wants to spend one week with you, will you allow it or will you reject it? Will you have to cancel, my dear youth, your Friday night and Saturday night appointments and tell them, you know what, next week, not this week, I've got a guest. Subhanallah. 
That means what's wrong with what you are doing? Because it's unacceptable to the very man you are following. That is why you got to cancel it. If you were doing nothing wrong, you would say, welcome, welcome, enter the house. Here, this is the place where I read my salah. This is where I read all your sayings. And this is where I read the Quran that came to you, that was brought to us through you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is where I read it. This is what I have done. I am trying to be a better Muslim. Please make dua for me. And so on and so forth. This is my reaction. I will be going to the masjid in a few minutes. Let's go together. Subhanallah. That's your reaction. What do you have to hide? Why do you have to hide anything when you're a good Muslim? But it's only when there is something wrong with you, you will have to shun him from the door, open it, see him and bang the door on his face to say, let me quickly put something more appropriate on. Allahu Akbar. Look at how hypocritical we've become. With that litmus test, I ask you all to think about it very deeply tonight and to ponder over it and to effect positive change in your lives and my life, inshallah. The message is for me as well as for you. I am more in need of whatever I have said than you. And with that, I come to an end, seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking Allah to make us from amongst those who are true followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those who can control their tongues and those who are an asset, not only to their wives and families, but to entire communities and societies and to the Muslim ummah. Jazakumullahu khayra wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. سبحان الله وبحمده سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك